Hey everybody, what's going on? This is the Nothing Much Here show. Coming from Game Nothing Much Here on YouTube. Except for this is the Nothing Much Here show because we don't talk strictly gaming. I'm Lauren. <laughs> that was long. I'm Tom. <laughs> what's up guys? You guys know me from my handsome hands on the unboxing videos. <laughs> what's up guys? What's happening? I'm a real life hand model. Go ahead, That's dear. That's true. Well, before we get started with our new, I will call this a podcast type show because this is technically not a podcast yet <laughs> yeah so before we get started i do want to mention that mention it <clears throat> anyway if you haven't already go follow us on instagram because we are still doing card giveaways there um mm -hmm. pretty much weekly as far as i know of unless yeah. something crazy happens Can't imagine. so um it's game underscore nothing much here spelt just like our channel yep except for with an underscore and then um yeah just you know there will be times whenever we are, like, before we, we're going to go, oh my gosh, I can't talk. We're going to say, come on, hey, you, you know, we're doing a podcast this week. We're just going to call it a podcast or a show, whatever. Whatever yeah. we call it. And we're going to say, hey, give us some ideas. What do you want us to talk about? What do you want us to do? I don't know. Shoot, guys, I don't know. But anyway, so this first episode, we haven't really got to know you guys very well. We know you more than you know us. Yeah, so I think what he meant to say is you guys don't know us very well. It is what I meant. Thanks. You are my better half. Thanks, dear. <laughs> Thanks, dear. Oh, you're welcome. Oh. What? So this is going to be more like an introductory podcast type dealio than it is like a meet and greet. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. I don't it. know. We're just going to tell you about us this first episode. Yeah. Next episode, we'll probably get into more subject stuff. But... And it'll be longer. Yeah. This one's going to be fairly short. Just like I said, introductory. It's... Hey, you guys want to know a fun fact real quick? We yeah. just recorded one that was an hour and a half long because it's really fun to do these, actually. Yeah, and you Very kind of fun. get lost in the time. I didn't realize it was that long. I just get uh, whisked away. Anyway. And um, what happened was our computer's garbage. That's the long and short of it. It now, really is. Now, um, yeah. So now we have to redo it. But we, All of it. <laughs> I fixed the issue, so we're good. I hope. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. Knocking not, on my wood knocking desk. Knocking on wood. Anyway. Anywho, so we figured we'd just kind of tell you what we, who are what we, we? What, what we did growing up, us? what are our likes, our dislikes, tell what's me about, your favorite color, tell me about your soul, anyway, mine smells like beef, all right, what, <laughs> I eat a large amount of beef, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry if that was, mine smells ears, like, but that threw me off so my bad, my soul is covered in grease, so what's up, how's your soul doing? It's a crazy little it's about to be grease pretty ball. Vegged up. Ugh, vegetables. Mm -hmm. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Rabbit okay. food. I like it. That's cool. Anyway, my little bunny. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> oh goodness me. Okay, so let's see. What did you do growing up as a child, Tom? Well, Doctor Lauren, therapist. Let me <laughs> lay back. Wait a minute. Let me lay back in the chair. Now that you're too far away from me. I know. I almost fell out of my chair just then. <laughs> um, when I was a kid, what did I do? I played Xbox. Well, before Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> Xbox. Yeah, Xbox. You ever seen that vine of that little yes, kid? Yes, I freaking love it. Why is it so great? You got Xbox? Yeah. You got Xbox? You got Xbox? Anyway. Um, yeah, I would... Well... When I was little, I really liked games, but no one in my family liked games, and we didn't really do nerdy stuff as a family. Because, you know, some people are like, oh, I remember playing D&D &D with Dad when I was like six, and he would show me how to do whatever. I'll get to it. She's going to give me a look. There's a secret surprise at the end just for all of you people who love them tasty little ear nuggets. Anyway. <laughs> What's wrong with you? So, what I did when I was little, I played basketball a lot in school. Pretty much since first grade all the way through my senior year, pretty much, I played basketball. Was it for the school or was it? No, I never played for the school because I didn't like the idea of, ever since I was little, I didn't really like competitive stuff. It, it like stressed me out too much. So the games were, it wasn't one of those things where like, we don't even keep track. We're just, everyone had fun. It's like, no, keep track, you morons. <laughs> So we kept track, I don't know, when we were really little we didn't, but that's well, like you were really little, half so. the kids were like chewing on their shoes too, so you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know who you were, but it's all right. But uh, I played t-ball literally for like three games and I was like, boy, this is the worst, dad. 
And he says, really? I said, yeah. And he's like, I don't really like it either. I'm like, oh, great, let's quit. So I did. <laughs> Perfect. But the one thing besides basketball I did through school was play video games. Because, uh, like I said, we didn't do anything real nerdy as a family. But I did. I had a Game Boy and Pokemon Blue. Me and my sister, Katie. Sup, Katester? We, uh, <laughs> we both got Game Boys on Christmas of 99 or 8. I think it was 98 because the yellow version wasn't out and it came out in 99. So 98, she got the Atomic Purple Game Boy, which is the see-through one. That's what I have. And I got the turquoise. I still have that. I know. I still got mine too. Mine's a little bit rougher shape. I'm going to say mine has more hours played on it than Probably. yours. Probably. But uh, yeah, I played Pokemon from then on. And also I raced cars till I was 14. I think it was 14. Um, basically from when I was 5 to 14, so 9 years. Uh, started off in quarter midgets. If you don't know what they are, look them up. It's just a basic sealed 160 motor. Uh, they're all Hondas, I think, for the most part. They're Honda. It's 160cc. But uh, raced those a lot. <laughs> you guys don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, started those when I was 5. Fun fact, I won the state championship race in Indiana at Kokomo. <sighs> Oh boy, I was in junior Honda, which was the class, because they start junior novice and senior novice, and then junior novice is like 5 to 10 year olds who just start, senior novice is 10 to 16, and then after that you go junior Honda, senior Honda, light 160, heavy 160, light A, heavy A, mod, whatever. Light from mod to light, <laughs> you guys don't care, but anyway, it was the junior Honda class I was in, so I was like... But anyway, I won the state race in like 2000, so that was like a big deal. The people came from like Ohio, Illinois, Michigan, Kentuck, I'm sure, if those people have race cars. But it's funny because the Waltrips are from Kentucky. Do you know who the Waltrips are? Daryl and... <gasps> oh, come on. Come on, Hold baby. On. Come on, baby. Big, tall, dorky guy. Well, that means nothing. It was Katie's favorite. Sup, Kester again. Need, means nothing. Hold on. I have an autographed What's jacket. What's it start with? It. What's his name start with? M. M. Mark. M. Michael. Michael Waltrip. Michael. You're yeah. so smart, Michael Waltrip. I'm sad because What's Mike's his wife's so his ex wife's name? Quick. Name. Quick. His ex wife's name. I go, go, go. Know. It was Buffy. Anyway. Why would I know that? Because it's funny. You wouldn't know when I say his funny name. Anyway. Fair. So that was eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, it was a long interruption. Apologies. Yep, sorry. Kid not problems. That, not that it's going to be like eight minutes of blank, but we do forget where we left off. <laughs> I do yeah. know we were talking about corner oh, midgets and Yeah, and the, the motors. Yes. State championship. I won that when I was little, so that's cool. <laughs> anyway, it's no big deal. I'm a champion, guys. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, just for that one race. Um, that's right. You're a champion yeah. in my heart, baby. Thanks, darling, you nerd. So yeah, Lauren. <laughs> What did you do when you were little? Well, not until when I was little. I didn't really start doing, like... Things? Sports or anything. Oh. <laughs> or, yeah, I didn't anything. do anything. I didn't do anything. Not until more like fifth or sixth grade. Nice. I, was, I did some cheerleading when I was in elementary school, and then junior high I did some softball, and then high school I did some color guard, which is just band geek stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah. We did, we did make it to the uh, state fair. Uh, like we made it to the top sixteen one year, so that was pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, so we got to perform again on the night, nighttime. That was awesome. And you performed on the dirt track, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then let's see. Let's. Mm. And then you worked until you met me, and your life began. <laughs> pretty much. Well, and I was in show <laughs> choir. Such a show off. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, show off choir. I'll stop. No, I won't. Go okay. ahead. And yeah, after, I mean, like, I started working at Subway when I was like 16. It was my first ever job, and I worked there for like 17 years. Seven years. It was terrible. <laughs> the job itself wasn't terrible. It's just like staying that long at a job is mind numbingly boring. Well, it's not that, but it's just that place wasn't a good place. Just a book. For me. Yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't a good place for me. Yep. But. I got a lot of life experience, though. I rescued you. You did. That's <laughs> where we met. I did not expect you to go, like, 
You're right, you did. You did? Oh, oh, wait, what? Oh, I never uh, would have got out of there if it weren't for you. That's right, babe. I'm not even kidding. It's closed now, so I'd be out of a job right now. Good point. I saved your future. I know. You owe me. Well, I gave you two kids, so. All right, maybe I'll do something now. <laughs> oh, mercy. Oh, so, yeah, mercy. that's a little bit about us. Yeah. Now, real quick, what's our history of Pokemon? Yours, rather. Take me back to the very beginning. Call it 2015. <laughs> 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 well, okay. To be fair, when I was younger, I did that collect. I'm oh, sorry. Shush. Sorry. I did collect Pokemon cards. I didn't know what to do with them. I collected them. Um, That's what you do with them. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, now I know that you can play a game with them. Back then, I didn't know that so much. <sighs> say what? Say what? Say what? Um, so, Tom and I started playing the card game, what, like three years ago? Mm, roughly, Maybe. yeah. Yeah. In that neighborhood. Um. And ever since then, we've been collecting them and building decks, and I've been just dominating <laughs> with my Alola Ninetales. It's no big deal. It's highly unnecessary. You dominate with Dragonite, so I don't even... Yeah, dude, Dragonite EX! Yeah. And Lugia. We, have, we each have our strong Woo-hoo. decks. So... Although they've been and, taken apart now. I know. I don't know what was in my deck. I'm very upset. I don't know. Anyway, kids got into them. Point. So... <laughs> Uh, video game wise, I didn't. I do not go as far back as Tom does. Um, when I had my purple see through Game Boy, I played dumb little games like Barbie Ocean and Mary Kate and Ashley things. <gasps> Me and Katie, sub Katie again, again, <laughs> again, again, again. Uh, she had a Mary Kate and Ashley game, and mine was like a mall thing. I'm sure there was a few of them. Yeah. They were the biggest thing. That was like the first thing I stole from a store, too. I'll tell you that story later. But You thief! It has to do with Mary Kate and Ashley, which is hilarious. But anyway. That is hilarious. Um, you could like send messages back and forth with a little... Uh, what do you call that black thing on the end of the Game Boy? Not an mm. uh, infrared thing. And oh. we thought that infrared thing was for trading Pokemon. And we could not figure out how to get it to work. You had to have a cable for the Pokemon. Oh. That infrared was, like, for one Mary Kate and Ashley game is all it was ever used for, really. That's funny. Yeah. I'm sure there's other uses, but that was, like, the one that huh. was known. Weird. Yep. Anywho, so up until Tom and I got married and we were, I don't know, 17, probably... 18, whenever we got married. Funny. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that was code for not that funny. Anyway, go ahead, dear. Anyway, so... That's when I started playing the actual video game. So I didn't start playing until Y. Because. <laughs> <laughs> Tom had X. I had Y. So that one, I actually beat that game. And ever since then, I've played the new ones that come out. But I have yet to beat one again. <laughs> yeah. And you had uh, Omega. No, no. You had, had Alpha had Sapphire. Alpha, yeah, I had Alpha Sapphire. And uh, Moon and Ultra, Ultra Moon. Moon. Yeah. And Eevee. Let's yeah, go. But let's go. Yeah, and I'm almost I almost defeated the Let's Go Eevee game, but my daughter stole it, so it's yeah. just not happened yet. <laughs> now your Pokemon are all named like random letters and symbols. Probably. I probably won't know what they are, who like who <laughs> my strong ones are anymore. Yeah. I'll have to like base it off of numbers and Ugh, stats. stats. Gross. <laughs> stats. I'm gonna have to remember things. What are Eevees anyway? <laughs> anyway. But yeah, past that I don't have any Pokemon knowledge. I I knew who Pokemon were. I know what most of them are. There are still some that I get super confused on and I'm just like, who? <laughs> who? who? It makes me yeah, feel... Yeah, who, who? Anyway. <laughs> and Tom's like, are you kidding me? You don't know this one? I'm like, no. <laughs> He's just like, oh, okay. I thought yeah. you were kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just dumb. Thanks so. though. <laughs> yeah, you used to get, <clears throat> not mad, but like on our early Pokemon unboxing ones, I'd be like, quick, who's this Pokemon? And you'd be like, I don't know. I'm like, bah, it's so-and-so. After one of the videos, you're like, can you stop doing that, maybe? I was like, <laughs> I was like sorry. Maybe you look like an idiot. <laughs> I was like, sorry. I the nerd mean... community will know that I'm not a nerd. Yeah. I have to be accepted by them. No, anyway. not at all. You can totally, I'm not super knowledgeable in Pokemon. It's all good. There's babe. other things that I'm fairly knowledgeable in, though. Like, hmm. Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. You know what's super annoying, Mario. though? Whenever there's a game that you're super into, like Breath of the Wild for you, or mm-hmm. for me, say, I don't know, like Harvest Moon. Mm-hmm. It's a long game. 
it's a uh, like a long road to hoe. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you watch someone speed run it, and it's like, why am I even playing this? Like I'm doing this all wrong. <laughs> it's like Skyrim. Watching people speed Ugh. run Zelda is insane to me because I cannot imagine. Like how do you go having... with that? You well, you're on three hearts and you have to defeat every oh, yeah. all four divine beast. Um, well, usually they go straight to Ganon. What's it called? Yeah, you have to defeat all four of oh, them. Oh, the bosses! Before you mean, okay, all the, I thought all you meant you had to bosses. go through the divine beasts. No, you beasts? just go through beasts. 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 Beast die. You, go, you have to defeat all four divine beast bosses and then Ganon on top of that, all on three hearts. Yeah, I know. And you have to defeat Ganon at full power because at that point you don't oh, get yeah. the, the luxury half. of the half. Half shot or whatever. Yeah, it's insane to me. I'm like, how do you do it? I still die at dumb monsters. Like, like how do you do and it? And I have like... You severe nerves. I have like 18 <laughs> hearts and completely yeah. three rings of stamina. It's ridiculous. It makes me feel like a fool. I'm sorry, another kid interruption. Anywho. Mom life. Mom life. Parent life. Mom. For all you pops out there. Anywho. Um, yeah, so Breath of the Wild. It's my jam. You keep spinning away from the mic as you're talking. I did that the last time we tried to record this. I know. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. You think sorry. you learned. Sorry I had to hit you. Didn't even touch me. I know. I just smacked the snot out of the back of my own hand. That hurt. <laughs> noise. You know what that was? That was noise. noise. Uh, catchphrase. Anywho. So. <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh. Breath of the Wild. Yeah, Speed running. Like, severe nerds. Yes. Yeah, you know what? I think everyone's a severe nerd about something. Something, yes. We should get shirts Speaking that say of... severe nerd. Pulls on a stick, severe nor- nerd. Yeet means yes, all of it. Oh, yeah, okay. You kids are young and hip, I'm sure. We are not. You with your Instagrams and your th- likes and dislikes and oh, your stories. Oh, my goodness. I prefer... St- I'm I like a little st- bit more hip than he is. I like stories. I'm a storyteller. You're I'll spin James. a yarn. Anyway, let me spin you a yarn, kiddos. Uh, I first heard the word yeet. I don't know when, honestly. I just knew it was a word. And I thought it meant yes. <laughs> so, me and Lauren, we would say something and be like, you know what I mean? Yeet. I'm like, yep, I know. And then we Google it one day, and it means, like, to throw something. Like, if you yeet something. No, it, yeet is an, ex, an exclamation of excitement, approval, surprise, or all-around energy, often and issued, often as issued when you're, when doing a dance move or throwing something. Yeah, but it originated by throwing something. It was like a meme. But we yeah. just say yeet and stuff. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we need to get shirts that say yeet means yes. Oh, according to Urban Dictionary, yeet can also be a feeling or emotion, usually like an adrenaline rush. <laughs> what? That that makes no sense, says I. Anyway. Yeet. Yeet. <laughs> yeet. Oh. oh okay. We're you, old. Please don't unsubscribe because of this. Yeah, if you don't think that's funny, stay subbed. Anyway. Stay subbed. Oh, my lanta. Anywho, speaking of severely nerdy things, since we're mm-hmm. going to keep this short and pretty much sign off here fairly soon want to tell them what's some no why why you're you doing? know what i'll say it with pride i do i have to yes <laughs> so basically what happened was funny story hilarious you guys are gonna laugh nerd take this mic away from her no <laughs> basically what happened was i'm gonna tell him from the start how i met this guy I was selling stuff on Let Go, which I never, ever do. Like, ever. That's why I said that. <laughs> and I was selling a bunch of manga books. And, oh, it's manga. Shut up. You know what I mean? Some manga manga. Manga manga. Manga mongs. Manga. Some manga mongs. And, um, <laughs> I, I don't know. like fruit. I do. My soul is beef, remember? Oh, yeah. Or no, it just reeks of beef. Anyway. Anyway. Jeez. <laughs> I was saying, selling some manga moves. And... I put him up there for like eight minutes, and I got uh, one response. I think it was just the one response from this one guy, and he was like, hey, I'm interested. Okay. Went and sold him at like a truck stop Sorry. nearby. And then the next week, I put I was going to put more on there, and so I said, hey, I also have these other ones if you want these, and he ended up buying those too. And then we just kind of chatted or whatever while we were doing our deal. And then 
we swap numbers and we just kind of text each other every so often. We're buds now. It's no big deal. And uh, he was Random like, Random nerd. Friends. Yeah. He was like, Hey, do you want to join a D&D game? And I said, Well, I can't do that because, you know, I'm married. <laughs> no. <laughs> and he was like, Well, at first I told him I don't think so because I don't want to like go to someone's house. You know what I mean? I just don't want to do that. And he says, No, it's online. I said, oh, online, you say? I said, I don't know. I, I don't have to leave my house. Yeah, I said, I can stay in my office. Ooh, I'm intrigued. And I basically, I'm going to do a D&D game. So, yeah, I'm going to, I've never played it before or listened to it played, but I'm going to be a human rogue, I think, is the correct way to say that. So, human rogue Tom. Hmm. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's it. The idea of D&D reminds Mm me. Uh Uh-oh. Now, this is not. She's got her phone out. What are you Googling? Well, hold on. This is not a kid-appropriate movie. Uh But it's called Role Models. Role Models. I've never seen that. Oh, my goodness, Tom. This is, like, one of my top five favorite movies. Really? Oh, I love this movie. Plus, it has Christopher. Is it a no, it has. I'm probably gonna say his name wrong, so don't bash me. But like Christopher Mintz Plus, Plus. No idea. He's the guy that played in Kick A. He plays. Uh, oh. Oh, I'll McLovin. McLovin. Oh, gee, that's super. First also, of all, before I met Tom, I was in love with McLovin. Which is weird because we are not the same looking person. No, not at all. But anyway, none but, of these are kid safe. So if you're little, don't watch these till you're older. Yeah, at all. Or make ask your mom. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Anyway. Anywho, there in role models he has like a a little oh my I don't he they call it like a battle royale and they dress up in these like knight <laughs> costumes. Oh, that's LARPing. It's live action role play. Yes. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what I picture D and D. You guys want super secret time? Yes. It's just me and Lauren in here. No one's out. No one's listening right now. I've LARPed before. What? Yeah. Okay, we've been married how long? Been together how long? And I did not know this. You tell me everything. Write me out. First of all, ow. I, write me out. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I had this friend. I'll say his name. There's nothing wrong. His name's Zyler. It's a very unique name. He and his older brother would play. What did we call it? I can't remember. Don't quit looking at me. Yeah, I was excited. (laughs) We were in like, I don't know, fifth or sixth grade probably. And, oh, did we call it like, we called it like swords and boards or something like that. I can't remember, but it was just the three of us in his backyard. And his brother would play all the like storyline people. Me and Zyler were the main characters. And I don't know why it sticks out in my head where our first mission or quest or whatever, we were talking to this golem and I didn't know what that was. I knew what the Pokemon was. Hobbsies. I was a cool kid. And he was like... But were you? No. (laughs) And then his brother was like... His brother's name was Luke, I think. Either way, they don't live anywhere near the state anymore. But he was like... Pretend you see boulders coming out of my eyes. And I was like, oh, man. And I remember getting so into it. And I was like, I wonder why he's crying. And Tyler was like, I don't know. And I was like, yeah, me either. I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> Whatever. And then they were like, you're oh really. My gosh. And they both told me. They're like, you're really good at this. I'm like, well, I don't know what I'm doing. And I was like, I don't understand the rules, really. He was no, but you're like into it. And I was like, oh, yeah. And then I was like, oh, dang it. Now Super I'm self-conscious nerd. about oh, it. So- so much well, more you know, nerdy yeah. than I thought. Uh, well, get this. I can't believe I didn't know this, guys. Zyler's birthday party. Like my brain right now? <laughs> my mind? It's blown. Zyler's... Well, we didn't dress up. I mean, we didn't have outfits. Oh, that it wasn't was that so nerdy. So much better. You know what? It's okay, though. I'll take it. He did have outfits. I didn't wear them, though. It was just like a shirt. You know, like Daniel Tiger wears? Like a thing like that? I feel like no. his, his brother had one like that. Kid interruption. But yeah, he had like... One of those shirts, I think. That's awesome. But uh, at his birthday party at Zyler's, there was like eight of us. 
<laughs> and we were like, what do you want to do? And he had Xbox Live before, like, any of us did on the original, like, this Xbox. Right. And I You act like we just have, like, I five know. laying in here. Out of all 20 Xboxes no, I own, but it's this original this one. Ri- you know what I mean. Nerd. Just, it was just sounded funny. I'm You're sorry. a nerd. We do not have Anyway, about me LARPing. So. <laughs> yeah. <Wait. laughs> so, we were at his birthday party, and we were like, I don't know, what do we want to do? And I was like, I don't know. And I said, hey... Why don't we play whatever? I'm going to say sword and board, but I don't think that was actually it. I said, hey, why don't we play sword and board? And Phil, this other kid in our class, he goes, what is that? And I was like, it's where you like act out stuff. And Zyler was like, no, we're not doing that. I was like, why? I said, we always have fun when it's me, you, and Luke doing it. And he was like, Tom, stop. I was like, oh, okay, you fine. Him. Yeah, he was embarrassed about it. I didn't even pick that up until later. He was like, yeah, don't say that kind of stuff. I was like, why? It was cuz. And I was like, oh my gosh. Way to throw me all the way under the bus, Zyler. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, how dare you? I opened my heart to that golem and you just stomped all over it. My poor baby got his heart hurt. I did. I'm sorry. And so all the other nerds were like, you like the LARP? And I was like, I didn't even come up with it. Him and his brother played all the time. And he's like, no, we don't play it. Like, we played it a couple of times, and I was like, you, oh, it was frustrating. I remember I went to Lucas's room, and I was like, Lucas, was like, tell him that we played that before. And he was like, we played it, like, once together. I was like, whatever. So, I'm being hugged. She's hugging me like, oh, you poor idiot. <laughs> I'll beat all of them up. <laughs> Make my baby cry. Uh, but, you know. Yeah, I... Did not cry, I'm pretty sure. Make my baby embarrassed. Yeah, we just got on Xbox Live and some of the other boys cussed at people and that was pretty much all they did. Oh, classy. Yeah, it's pretty awful. Well, you know, in a big group of friends, you always got a couple of trash cans in there. (laughs) Fair enough. (laughs) So, yeah, technically I've LARPed before. That's adorable. Thanks, babe. I love that. There is a person. I've never done it, but I've always wanted to. Question. Just to be super nerdy, throwing that out there. Civil War reenactment. Is that nerdy? What is the difference? People are like, oh, it's a reenactment. Like, yeah. I don't think it's the same. You're pretending to be something you're not. Yeah, but you're reenacting something that did happen. This, you're just, it's fantasy. It's none of it's real. Oh, I think you're splitting hairs. I don't think I am. Because Civil War actually happened. Yeah. But... You're still pretend. You're the thing about playing LARPing pretend. is real. <laughs> it's not like it's a pastime that you're reliving. I'm right, and you. We know will it. agree to disagree. Long story short, I'm playing D and D, and Lauren's jealous that she wasn't invited because she's a girl. Wow, <laughs> sexist. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, go down that uh, route. All right. Can love you, your baby. Buddy. Love you, babe. And be like, yo. Bro. No, no, you know what? No. You deserve some of this. My birthday was last week. Happy birthday <laughs> to me. Thanks, everybody. We were at a cookout. <laughs> Most of my family was there and some, like, other people that aren't related to us, but they were just there visiting. <laughs> Laughing you know? so hard I cried. Yeah. She just tells them all, guess what Tom's doing? He's in a and d thing. And they're all like, what? No, and my first sister. I said, what is that? I said, Dungeons and Dragons. And then I told her that it's like a... The her, you mean Katie. The her she's referring to. Yeah. Sub Katester for the fourth time. And then I told her something. I can't remember what I said. Um, Maybe I told her it was like Something all, disparaging. Partly, like it's part of like a board game type thing. Or called a tabletop was, RPG, but go on. Sure. And she said that makes it so much better. <laughs> I was like, oh no, this is like super nerdy. (laughs) I'll tell the guys that you poked fun at me. It's not poking fun. It's just like. Oh, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just going to laugh about you when you're not there. It's not like in a, not in a mean way, just in a like a. No, but here's the. My husband's so cute. Here's the extra, oh, you Rudy part. Me? Yeah, you. Oh, oh, me? I was just making fun of you to your family when you weren't (laughs) there. I come out of the house and go down to the fire First thing I get is Katie goes, so you're doing D&D now? It's like, uh, well, yeah. 
And she goes, yeah, your wife's been telling us all about it. And then Dad starts laying in. I was like, well, great. I'm glad I came out here. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tom. Thanks. No one else. It's all right. Happy birthday. Picked on. Joey. So, it's like, whatever. Now I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's all right, babe. I forgive you. It makes you feel any better. You're still super hot to me. Wow. No one wants to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> Literally I, nobody. I find all your nerdiness quite attractive. Thanks. See you guys. Put. See you guys. You can find a cute chick who likes you. You just have to eat at Subway a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all like, they're behind microphones. That chick's is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no! Oh, that's funny. I'm funny. You are Anywho. funny. <laughs> you don't so, need this. If you have humor, right? <laughs> you've got both. Okay. Well, okay, thank you. Okay. See what that was, gentlemen. That was called scoring points. <laughs> I just knocked that slow pitch out of the park. And we're done with this episode. Yeah. Okay. That's right, babe. It went a lot longer also, than I Also, whenever oh. we say babe like that, I don't want you people to think we're the types that we're like, "What's up, babe? Nothing, hey, babe. babe." We babe, only babe, say that babe, to babe, irritate babe. each other. <laughs> And it works so it was, well. It's like, shut up, quit saying that. Yeah. Anyway. Any So, hope you enjoyed this first episode. Now that we got comfortably that. uncomfortable. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so then. So, yes, we are going to stop talking. Yeah, that's the now. word for it. We're going to stop talking yeah, now. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this first episode. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Can't imagine anyone liked it. Go ahead. Keep no. going. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it... Tell us that you LARP. <laughs> Please. Please. Let someone else LARP. Oh, no. What? I've LARPed twice. Once was at my house when I was... Well, oh, dang it. It was at one of my birthday parties. I'll get this real quick. There was a burn pile at my house with a bunch of witchcrafts. My dad's a carpenter. It doesn't matter. And we would... <laughs> You're a carpenter. Oh, true. But my friend Max, he was... We called the game Swordsman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Max would stand on this big burn pile and he would have like these long sticks and he'd be like this sword salesman and people would just go like buy swords from him and it was like me and like three other of my friends were playing it at my birthday party and then there was like three other ones who were just like ew what are you doing <laughs> yeah Xyler was one of those friends that played or no yeah he played Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, Zyler. When you were seven. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Seven-year-old Zyler. Yeah, right. Now, for real, though, we're going. Oh, yeah. Right, we'll bye. talk to you later. Bye.